Okay, so now that I have my base machine here, I'm just going to uh, create a snapshot. I'm going to call this the base OS. And it's kind of ready for my play pen. And what I can do with this is I can make clones of it. Now this is pretty cool because um, I can base it off of an existing snapshot, the base OS snapshot. I'm going to create a linked clone. I'm going to call this guy 01. Because that's actually what I called the base. It's 01. Go back to the base, which is OEL54 in this case, and we're going to make another clone, and same thing, off of the base OS snapshot, linked clone, we're going to call this guy 02. And finally, manage clone, off of base OS, linked clone, and 03 seems like a good name for the third guy. Okay, and now I can boot these up. Now, the first time I boot up the clone, I'm going to boot into single user mode. And the reason I want to do this is so that I can edit the, um, the network settings. Okay, so let me just get that booted up. And while we're at it, let me get O2 booted up as well. Single user mode. So both of these guys will be sitting in single user mode. Okay, so what I want to do is go into Etsy sysconfig and verify that my network file is set up properly. Now in this case, because this is a clone of the base and the base I named 01, everything's good. We also want to check the interface is set up to the right IP. And in my case for 01, this is good. So I can just reboot this guy. But in the case of O2, it's going to be slightly wrong. So Etsy sysconfig cat network, you can see that in here my host name is going to be wrong. So let's change that so it's correct. Remember my Etsy hosts file was edited before we did the clone, so save myself a few steps there. And the same with my first interface. His IP needs to be changed so we don't have a collision and then I can bounce this guy and we're good. Now the same with O3, let me get that guy figured out too. Okay, you can see that my O1 has booted up but uh, the resolution <laughs> of my VMware tools X windows is kind of messed up so it's a little bit on the big side but that's okay, I'm just going to kind of deal with it for now. Um, <laughs> and we go to uh, firewall disabled, scroll down here, go forward, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> and we set SE Linux to disabled. Okay. Now, I'm not interested in being a pedantic operating system guy right now. Normally I would care about these things, but you know, this is for exam prep. So I don't expect to be tested on interaction of SE Linux and the listener and so on and so forth. Okay. Now are we going to create a user? No we will not. And it's recommended but continue. There's the sound card. Finish. And we're good. It's going to say I need to reboot because I disabled SE Linux. Now we'll do the same for O2 here and it's really just a matter of repeating the same thing.